Good afternoon, Feast. Let me welcome all of you here joining us both on-site and online. Thank you very much. Hey, what a great way to spend a Sunday here at the Feast. Yeah? Yeah? In case we haven't met yet, my name is Mike. I lead this spiritual family, this spiritual community on this side of the world called Feast Bellevue PM. And if you're new here, gosh, it is great that you are here and we're thankful. We're indeed thankful that you are here. Right after the feast, we have a welcome gift for you. So as you exit later, you can just go right, um, turn right actually to the tables and our team will be there with you to thank you and to celebrate you. But let's celebrate you now. For those of you who are first timers, let's give them a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to begin our message this afternoon by sharing with you a recent blessing that I received, that I experienced myself. So, nakwento ko sa inyo last week that getting to our feast, let's give a big hand to our brother here who's fixing up our monitors. Thank you, bro. So, nakwento ko sa inyo last week na just getting here to the feast that Sunday was a bit of a challenge. It was a bit difficult. Kasi nga, I told you the previous night, Saturday, nilagnat si Kyler. Umabot ng 40 yung lagnat. So as parents, syempre, kinakabahan kami. We were worried. And then of course, um, he was fussy, he was restless, di siya makatulog na maayos. So, kasi nga, masama pakiramdam. Tapos syempre, every four hours or so, bibigyan namin ng gamot. So hindi talaga kami nakatulog ni Vea. I woke up that Sunday morning, I was exhausted. I was exhausted and I knew I was still gonna preach that afternoon. So I drove here to Bellevue. Pagdating ko dito, nagpa-park muna kasi kami sa likod. Hindi po muna sa basement, sa likod muna. Because we will have our weekly edition of a stick being stuck in our nostrils as if hindi pa malaki yung butas ng ilong ko, di ba? A.K.A. an antigen swab test. So sinaswab test po kami para... Uh, to be sure, to be safe, because I'll be preaching to all of you and I'll be taking off my mask. So, in a swab test kami dun sa likod, sa hotel. And thankfully, negative naman. So, praise God. So, I go back to my car, I start the engine, and then I will now shift the gear from park to drive para maidala yung kotse sa basement. So, pagka ganun, ganun yun, parang ganun yun nangyari. Pagka press ko nung button to shift the gear from park to drive. Parang ganun, parang may nag-snap. Parang may narinig ako nag-crack dun sa loob nung, nung shift, nung gear shift. And so, dahil dun, hindi ko na mapaltan yung gear from park to drive. In other words, hindi ko na magalaw yung kotse. Nag-start yung kotse, pero hindi ko siya mapaandar. And in that moment, when that came to me, ito yung una ko naisip, sabi ko, Talaga nga naman ano. Ito pa, et, ito pa. Minsan talaga gusto ko sabihin sa devil, parang nakakainis ka. Parang bad trip ka eh. Hassle ka, no? <laughs> ano gusto ko sabihin sa kanya yun? Sinsya na, minsan nararamdaman yun, no? Yes? Right? So anyway, so baba ako ng kotse. Punta ako sa security ng Bellevue. Sabi ko, sir, pwede ko bang iwanan lang sandali yung, <laughs> sandali, ano, dalawang oras magpifist ako. <laughs> Pwede ko bang iwanan sandali yung kotse? Kasi ako yung magtotalk mamaya. Ako yung speaker. Sabi nila, sir, okay naman po. Problema, yung area na yan, sa feeling best na yan. Pag dumating sila at nakita lang may nakapark dyan, pwede namin sabihan ng isang beses. Pero pag bumalik sila ulit, pwede nilang ito or i-clamp yung kotse nyo. So napapaisip na ako, sabi ko, paano to? Baka pagtapos ng office, wala na akong kotse. <laughs> Hindi na makaka so, isip ako parang, okay. So, tawag ako ng mekaniko kagad. And thankfully, God's grace, merong on-call na mekaniko on a Sunday afternoon willing to go here to fix my car. So, okay, praise God. Dumating, so, ang problema ko na lang is yung pagbantay nung pag-ayos nung mekaniko at yung pag-park sa basement, ang problema ko dun is baka magsabay kung kailan ako magtotok na dito. So yun yung iniisip ko na. So, we're hurdling things one after the other. So, iniisip ko, baka meron akong pwedeng pag-iwanan ng susi, tapos siya yung magbabantay, tapos siya na yung magpa-park sa basement. So, akit ako dito sa, sa lobby natin, sa escalator, pag dito sa lobby, 
nakita ko isa nating leader sa feast si brother Arnold aka brother Bebot aka uh, brother Pogi eh ako baban dapat niyang pangalan ano <laughs> dami niyang pangalan totoo yun Pogi rin talaga siya so pagbigyan na natin na joke lang <laughs> ne totoo totoo anyway so sabi ko bro and explain ko yung story ah ko bro um yun nga nasiraan yung gear shift and all alam niyo sabi niya sure no problem so i gave him the keys and he took care of everything kaya ako nakapagtok dito nung hapon na yun na walang iniisip na matutuwi yung kotse ko okay so he took care of everything in fact we have a picture together when we when i checked up on them nung nung misa ayan siya si brother or no oh, pogi nga di ba kahit may mask yeah And I'm sharing with you that story this afternoon simply to remind all of us this. That in the middle of life's broken mess, God has already planted people around you to bless you, to help you, to serve you, to encourage you, to keep you going step after step. And my prayer today, my friends, is that you would recognize them na makita niyo sila sa buhay niyo, you would be grateful for them and that you would bless them as well. Do I hear an amen? Yes. Amen? So, kung nasiraan ka man ng kotse, nasiraan ka man ng ulo, or nasiraan ka man ng bait, sasabihin ko sa inyo, hindi kayo nag-iisa. You are not alone. God has already blessed you with a community that is surrounding you. And that community is your family, or your friends, and this feast. Amen. Amen. So let's receive the Lord, the love of the Lord together that allows us to be that community, to be that community, that family of love to one another. So together, let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, today I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. You can be seated, but before you get seated, touch the person beside you and tell that person, You are my blessing. Sa mga mag-asawa, mean it, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's give a big hand to our worship team. Thank you very much, Brother Everett from Feast Bikutan. Hallelujah. All right. So this afternoon, to preach our main message, I invited a very good friend of V and I. And this friend of mine, I think we've been friends serving the Lord together for more than half of my life, actually, panga 20 plus years na. At dati, dati, ang binibilang lang namin, upuan. Kasi kami nagsiset up ng upuan sa youth prayer meeting namin. So dati, ang, binib- ang binibilang lang namin, upuan. Ngayon, ang mga binibilang na namin, mga anak. Kasi siya, pang-apat na, malapit na, dadating na yung pang-apat niya. Praise be to God. Ako, hopefully, makapangalawa na. Diba? So pag-pray nyo kami dyan. But anyway, we as a feast are blessed to be sitting under the wisdom and the joy-filled preaching of the builder of Feast Makati Salcedo. Please welcome Brother Jan Silan. <laughs> Sige na, go, go na kay Nivea. Okay na, go, go. Uwi na, uwi na, uwi na. Sige na. God discovered, bro. Hindi. Kasi yung pangalawa, sige lang. And uh, good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. Good afternoon. Are you excited? Are you happy to be here? I just want to know who came here for the first time. Ano ba? First timer, first timer, first timer. Hello po sa inyo. Palapangan natin itong mga to. 
<laughs> sa mga first timer po ako po si Jan, uh, kaibigan po ni Mike. Um, hindi ko po alam bakit niya ako inibita today, pero de, pero I'm very very excited to be here today. Again, uh, I do lead a very small feast. Again, for the first timers, I do lead a very small feast in Makati. It's called Feast Makati in Salcedo. And a uh, very, very small feast about, you know, pre-pandemic times, mga a thousand people go there. Again, pre-pandemic times. Very small feast. I mean, I'm comparing it to the whole Catholic Church. Talagang, yun yung, ano ko eh, tas maliit lang kami. And then, of course, pandemic times now. Talagang, we're starting again, little by little. And uh, again, it's such an honor to be here with you. And uh, katulad na sabi ni Mike, we're, we've been friends for, I don't know, since our excess, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, Bea, and uh, of course, Skyler, and of course, the whole family. My wife is there, Salikod, and the whole family is here. Uh, Gerard on keyboards, Carlo on drums, all of us grew. Car- Andrew Salangit, ay nako, Paolo Salangit, all of us served. Meron ba ako nakalimutan? Kung nakalimutan, hindi siya significant. Then, then, viro na, viro na, viro na, Alam niya, alam, kilala po ako niya, may palabiru po talaga ako. And uh, this is my family. Ito po ang aking uh, pamilya. Ito po yung sinasabi niyang, yan. So, yan, si Angela, si Mateo, yung nakastripes. And then si Javi, yung karga ko. At si Julio, yan. Si Julio po, pasensya na po sa consecration kanina. Gusto niya po umiikot during consecration. Siya po yung batang paikot-ikot during consecration. So this time, baby pa po siya nun. So, pa two years old na po siya. So, yan po ang aking pamilya. Alright! Blessing and curse. Pakisabi nga po, blessing and curse. Ayan. So, since day one, since talk number one, the Lord has been asking us, what do you want? Blessing or curse? Blessing or curse? Blessing or curse? Creation story. Everything is created. What do you want, Adam and Eve? Blessing or curse? Blessing or curse? Siyempre sila, alam nyo naman, they've been choosing curse. Then Cain and Abel, blessing or curse, blessing or curse. Nainggit yung isang kapatid, pinatay niya yung kapatid niya, dahil sa nainggit siya, blessing or curse. Talk number three, Noah's Ark. The Ark was made, why? Because again, people are ask, you know, are, are being asking, uh, the Lord has been asking, what do you want, blessing or curse? Then we've been choosing curse. Tower of Babel, my gosh, Louis gave that amazing talk. Grabe si Louis, no? Kaya no, nakita ko si Louis, sabi ko, okay, pwede ako mag-t-shirt sa feast. Talaga sabi ko, and uh, kung hindi niyo naalala si Louis, okay lang din yan. Uh, Tower of Babel, it was an amazing, amazing talk. So, ang galing talaga ni Louis. He's a professor ba si Louis? Ang theology. Sobrang galing talaga. Estudyante pa lang po ako. So, talagang sabi ko, ang galing nung Master Yoda na talagang grabe yung pag explain niya. And he asked us a question that time, are you working for your worth? Ako parang nung nakikinig ako, sabi ko, Lord naman, grabe yung message na yon. And of course, Abraham last week, hindi ko alam na pinagdaanan mo yun, Mike, grabe. At uh, buti naman, okay na yung sasakyan mo. And uh, na-drive mo naman ba? Ano kay Brother Pogi na, yung sasakyan mo. And uh, of course, talk number six and seven, it was written by this amazing guy. Written, as in siya nagsulat ng talk. Hindi si Brother Boo yung nagsulat ng talk six at saka seven. It's Brother Mike Vinyas. Hindi ko alam bakit ako yung nagtotok. So, siguro titignan niya kung tama ba yung sinasabi ko sa mga, sina, mga sinulat niya. So, and anyway, so, are you ready? The one big message is this. You're already blessed. Pakisabi sa mga katabi, you're already blessed. Di ba? Kahit gano'ng kayaman yung katabi mo. Di ba? Mayaman ba siya? O mayaman sa utang? Mayaman sa kaibigan? Mayaman sa pagmamahal? You're already blessed. Who among you are blessed nga po? Taas po na kamay. Sino yung nalagang kiniklaim mo na blessed ako? Blessed ako. Blessed. 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 Come on. Come on. Di ba? Blessed. Amen. Di ba? Now, kung, gusto, kung pwede lang akong bumaba. Kung pwede lang akong bumaba. I'm gonna ask you, why do you say you're blessed? Everett, bakit blessed? Bakit ka nga blessed? Bilis, sige lang, bisikan na lang. Yung katabi mo, jowa mo. Oh, hindi, very lang. So, abin niya, relationships. Ikaw te. You're here, very good. Sige, sino pa? Sino pa po? Kuya. 
Food in our table. Grabe, gaganda ng mga sagot dito. Parang sa akin lang po yun. Food in our table. Brother, good health. Meron pa? Ipas ma'am. You are alive. Very good. Di ba? Ang ganda. Hashtag blessed because of what we have. Pakisabi nga sa katabi, you're already blessed. So, 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 sobrang curiosity ko po, I looked at Instagram. So, pwede nyo rin gawin ngayon, actually. I, I went to Instagram, tapos pinindot ko tong search na to. Pag pindot ko ng search na to, tas I, I just did it hashtag blessed. At ito yung lumabas, screenshot na lang, okay? Hashtag blessed is 100 44 million posts. 144 million posts. 2.3, hashtag blessed life, blessed be, kung man yan, blessed Friday, hindi ba? Friday lang ang blessed, hindi yung Monday, Thursday, wala. Friday lang ang blessed. Talaga, <laughs> bakit? Uwi an eh. My gosh, yung Friday, ang traffic, napansin nyo ba? Pay, payday Friday pala. So, anyway, so, so, binala ko po, binala ko talaga, ipakita yung mga pictures ng hashtag bless. Kaya, kaya maliit na lang, huwag nyo na masyado tignan. Kasi, hindi, hindi mag... When I looked at hashtag bless, ano mo nakita ko? Most of the pictures are vacation. Next. Alam niyo yung paalang nakikita tapos dagat na? Yung ganon, yung hashtag bless. Yeah, selfie, hashtag blessed. Ano pa? House, bagong house. Grabe, condominium na bili ko. Selfie, hashtag blessed. Tapos, weddings. Nako, ito, wedding. Talagang kinasal lang kami. Hashtag blessed. Food on the table. Katulad na sabi ni Kuya. Hashtag blessed. Pero marami rin ako nakitang ano. Katawan. Body. Tapos, iba ko nakita... Ba- body na naman. Body after body after body. Hashtag blessed. And I'm, I'm looking at this. Sabi ko, Lord, grabe. Pakit, talagang sabi ko, Lord, blessed na blessed ang mga tao. Now, kung ano po yung naiisip yung konteksto ng blessed, we will now go to Genesis. We've been doing this for the past six weeks. And we will try to know what does it really mean for Genesis Sasabihin niya, ikaw ay isang blessed na tao. Number one is this. You are of abundance of life. Grabe, no? Sulat ni Mike to. Abundance of life. Ibig sabihin, sabi ni Lord, go, uh, be fruitful and multiply. Grabe, yan po ang aking favorite verse. Be fruitful and multiply. Sa apat na taon namin mag-asawa na, ni Angela, apat din po yung anak namin. Apat na beses lang po namin ginawa yun. So, abundance of life. Sorry, may mga bata. Wala ka sa salsedo. Wala ka sa salsedo. Okay. Next is this. The ability to rule. Diba? Sabi ni, sabi ni Lord, you are my representatives here on earth. And of course, the dignity to make a choice. Ilagyan ko lang ng access for us to make a choice. Again, we have a choice. Do you, do you, do you choose blessing or curse? Diba? Sobrang ganda, sobrang rich, that we are blessed. We have all these three. Ang problema ito, sino may pinagdadaanan? Sino pong may issue sa buhay? Sinong may... Wala yung iba. Ano kaya klaseng buhay itong mayroon itong mga ito? Talagang walang pinagdadaanan. Talaga naman, ang titindi ninyo. That's why I love it. It really stuck with me. Louis' message a few a few weeks ago. Talaga sabi niya, "Are you working for your worth?" That was his message. Are you building a tower? But you, are you building your worth? Are you working for your worth? Because the worth is already given to you. That was his big message. Ako parang grabi naman. Parang sabi ko, because I've been questioning my worth. Really. Will I be a good husband to my wife? That's the very first question I ask. Most especially, sino po dito may mga husband? Ay, may mga husband. Sino dito mag-asawa? Mag-asawa po, taas po ng kamay. Amen? Mahal niyo po ba yung asawa ninyo? Sa mga husband dito, sa mga husband, ano po ang pinaka-goal natin sa isang araw? Ha? 
kumita ng pera? Hindi. More than that. Bakit ka kailangan kumita ng pera? Because my goal, and, and baka hindi tayo parehas ng goal, kasi ang goal ko lang naman everyday, eh talagang pasayahin si Angela. That's my only goal. Oh, kailangan niya ng pera. Pera! Okay. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Ne, ne, ne. You, the only, one of the things that talagang priority yan. Kailangan masaya yung kapatid, yung kapatid ko. Yung asawa ko. <laughs> no, alam mo siyang totoo, no? And most of the time, the most of the time, by the way, pinaalam ko itong talk na to, siya nag-check kung tama ba yung mga sasabihin ko. But most of the time, she's mad. Iba kung maka-agree yung husband, tumigil kayo guys. O, dahan-dahan sa pag-agree. Dapat steady ka lang, parang hindi mo alam yung sinasabi ko. Parang, sa kanya lang yun, ha? Parang gano'n, ha? Sa mga asbal na mga nandito, ha? Huwag kayong magre-react dito sa point na to. Delikado. Nakasalala yung dinner ninyo, mamaya. But sometimes, she's just mad. Talagang galit lang siya. I mean, I would, diba, nagising kami 9 a.m. Monday, hahag ko yan, kikis ko. Mwah! Sara. Try ko ng Tuesday, 9 a.m., same weather, same atmosphere. Pag, galit. Hindi ko kasi maintindihan. But there are things that are outside of our control. But that's what, one of my goals. Talagang sabi ko, I'm gonna make her happy every day. And if she is frustrated, I'm frustrated. Hindi, hindi masaya yung araw pag hindi masaya sa ako. ko. Diba? Next, uh, will I be a good father? Who among you are raising, and that's a teenager part na po, ng uh, raising, a pe- raising a parent, <laughs> raising a child. Meron po ba, parent? In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that you have more patience. Amen. Because we are, we are right now, Mateo is turning 13. My gosh, talagang nasa, nasa teenager stage na kami. Talagang akala ko yung patience ko, May huhugutin pa pala kung mas malalim na patience pa doon. Bakit? Gusto mo silang antindihin. Kahapon nasa concert kami ni Mateo. Kakita mo ha? Talagang nasa concert. Kasi gusto ko siyang, gusto kong malaman ano ba yung mundo na yan. ba? Kasi ako BSB lang talaga ako eh. Talagang I want it that way. And that's all I want. Tell me why. Talagang, diba? Yung mga hindi nakakaintindi, hindi, hindi tayo magka-age range. ba? And that's what I want. And, 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 and ngayon, ang dami ng mga nangyayari. But I just, I just, I'm just telling you, sino dito may mga issues po? Issues sa family, issues sa mga kaibigan. And sa dami mong pinagdadaanan na issues after issues after issues after issues, we forget that we are blessed. Parang natatakpan lahat. May, may problema sa... Alam mo yung mabait ka namang tao. Mabait kang tao. You're, you're, you're so good in everything that you do, pero makikita pa rin yung mali sa'yo ng iba. Kasi iwan ka pa. Ang sakit nun. May naiwan na ba dito? Diba? Sabi ko, iba dito. Alam ba ng tatay mo may iniman ng iwan sa'yo? Pataas-taas ka ng kamay dyan. Diba? Buti alam mo. Okay, diba? And we forget that we are blessed. Because right now, we will go to a passage of somebody who's been fighting for his worth since day one. And his name is Jacob. Bakit sabi nga po Jacob? Alam nyo, Jacob has been called a lot of things. Number one, he's, a, he's born a grabber. So yeah, born a grabber. Let's, let's look at Jacob. Genesis 25, 21, it says, the Lord answered Isaac's prayer. Isaac is the son of Abraham. And Rebecca, maganda yung story ni Isaac and Rebecca, paano sila nag-meet. Talagang, ang ganda yung love story na yan. But anyway, we're skipping that part. The Lord answered Isaac's prayer and Rebecca became pregnant with twins. But the two children struggled with each other in her womb. So she asked the Lord about it. Why is this happening to me? My wife right now, she's there at the back. She's 32 weeks pregnant. Okay, 32 weeks. Malamit na, September, kami, June. 
Tapos, every movement of our baby in, in, in her womb, uh, talagang ang sakit right now. Eh, yung position ng baby, hindi pa siya red, hindi, wala pa yung ulo niya dito, nakaganon pa siya. So, pag nagsistretch siya, talagang, you will see Angela, talagang makikita mo yung chan niya, talagang, wow! Talagang, ko, talagang, pag nagsistretch yung bata, talagang, talagang grabe yung stretch niya. And sometimes, it wears me out because I see the feet and I see the hand. There. Sabi ko, lolo. <laughs> I, I'm just, hindi, as, ang laki pa ng anak ko. I don't know bakit ang lalaki ng mga anak ko. I have no idea why. <laughs> if, if you have any idea, please let me know if, if may evidence kayo bakit ang lalaki ng mga anak ko. Hin, talagang, anyway. All the more Rebecca. All the more Rebecca. Rebecca had twins. And there was no ultrasound those times. Walang ultrasound. Imagine mo, dalawang malaki nasa loob ng chan, tapos nag-aaway ng wrestling. Ang sakit doon para sa nanay. ba? Minsan, isang nga lang yung anak. Naisip mo, ito, sakit-sakit nito. Pero pagdating ng araw, sasagutin ako itong hype. Talagang, ba? Minsan, ang sakit ang masama yung loob ng nanay kasi kinarga ka, minahal ka, inalagaan ka, dinesisyonan kang ilalibas sa mundong ito. Tapos sasagutin mo lang siya. Dahil may mahal kang iba, talagang kakainis. Talagang ganon. And when the time came to give birth, Rebecca, ngayon lang niya na-discover, that she indeed have twins. Sorry, my exclamation point. Indeed have twins. The first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair like fur coat, so they named him Esau. Then the other twin was born with his hand. Listen to this. I want you to imagine this. Born with his hand, grasping Esau's heel. So they named him Jacob. It was my first time. The October, kana ba birthday Javi? Twelve. Di ko po memorize yung mga anak ko eh. So basta may basta October, October. Basta ganon. Okay. So, <laughs> Pero alam ko yung time, 3 a.m. It was October 12 at 3 a.m. I was in Lourdes Hospital. Nag, uh, ano yun? Ano yung tawag ba pag masakit na? Nag-labor. Basta yun, nag-labor na siya. Then we, buti, blessing po na 2 a.m. siya nag-labor. So we, we run to the hospital. And then, syempre, pag first time mo sa loob ng delivery room, magpapapicture ka parang ganito. Kasi it's, it's your first time, so I have a picture ako, di ba? And then, I remember, I was outside, I was wearing all of that, and then Angela was there inside the delivery room, and we, I was alone, at 3 a.m. Eh. Walang ibang tao. And I would hear, I mean, amazing, amazing team, uh, yung OB namin, napakagaling, tapos amazing team, and then I would hear her, the OB, Angela, push. And Angela would, Ako, and ako, nasa labas ako. Alam mo yung pagsabi, ako sa labas, gumagano rin ako, bakit? I-push mo yan, mahal ang CS. I-push mo! Like, <laughs> push mo! Lahat ay budget sa CS. Ilang. Normal lahat. Sinasagot po ng Diyos yan. Normal lahat ng mga baby namin. Kaya good job, hey Angela. And, sige, palakpakan nyo siya. Yun lang. <laughs> So I want you to imagine, Rebecca, Iso going out of the world. Paglabas siya ng mundo, hawak na siguro nung, nung, nung ale yung ulo, yung, yung katawan. At tapos paglabas ni Iso, meron kamay. That's how I imagined it. May, may malit na... <laughs> That's why Jacob is a heel grabber. That's his name, heel grabber. Bakit importante ito malaman? Because Jacob wants a blessing. And uh, sabi ni Mike sa, sa, sa sinulat niya, it's Bekora. O, diba? First time ko lang din marinig ito. Bekora means the birthright of the firstborn. Imagine, during their culture, in their culture po, I want you to imagine this, that firstborn inherited everything. Wealth ng daddy, everything. 
Lahat ng pera. Lahat po. Walang hatian. Everything. Authority. Everything. Blessing. Everything. Kaya hindi, kaya naiintindihan ko si Jacob. Eh. Ako yan. And Jacob wanted that blessing. Eh, hindi niya nakuha. So all his life, you know what he did? He kept on cheating and cheating and cheating. Iniisahan niya yung kapatid niya. May kilala kayong kapatid na nangiisa. Huwag mong tignan yung kapatid mo. Tinatanong ko lang kung may kakilala kang kapatid na nangiisa. Hindi nag, hindi, di ba? Sweldo hindi nang lilibre. Ikaw nang ikaw nang lilibre. Never siya naglabas ng pera, Brad. Pero puro Shopee labas sa bahay. Yung ganoon. I mean, sobrang lakas mang, mang isa. May alala ko tuloy kami magkakapatid. My mom would shout at the top of her voice. Nasa second floor siya. Sasabihin niya, Anak! Parang ganyan, nag echo Anak! E tatlo kami magkakapatid. Anak! Paint too big! Siyempre, pag narinig mo yon. Titingin ako sa kanan. Titingin ako sa kaliwa. Sinong anak yun? Sino mga panganay dito? Mga panganay, di ba? Amen. We're very blessed, di ba? Di ba kayo mga paluotos? Amen? Mga bunso, 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 bunso. Yan, yan, sarap utusan nito mga ta. Git na, git na, git na, git na. Ayan, anyway, so... Alam. Napansin ba kayo ever? Saan mo si Velden papansin? Anyway. <laughs> Sarap ko usapin pag wala dito. That's why we have to attend the feast. Attend the Holy Mass. Why? Because we are reminded that we are already blessed. Amen? Diba kahit papano, sasabihin ni Father Albert, mahal kayo ng Diyos. Kasi totoo po yan. Amen? Tapos, birthright for a bowl of beans. Let's look. As the boys grew up, Esau became skillful, a skillful hunter. He was an outdoor, uh, he was an outdoor man. But Jacob, ito na, so mag-ibang karakteristik talaga sila, had a quiet temperament, preferring to play computer. Preferring to stay at home. <laughs> Isaac, yung tatay nila, loved Esau. Why? Because he enjoyed eating the wild game Esau brought home. Kasi nga, hunter siya eh. Tapos inaalagaan niya yung tatay niya. But Rebecca, yung nanay, eto na, mga parents sana, hindi kayo nagpa-play favorites. Huwag nyo na lang ipahalata kung may favorite kayo. Pero ito, but Rebecca loved Jacob. So one day, when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau arrived home from the wilderness, exhausted and hungry. Esau saw, uh, he said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some red stew. Diba? Very, gusto, gusto ko po yung mga exclamation points sa Bible. Ibig sabihin, may emphasis talaga yan. Diba? Alam mo ba yung mall na katabi ng SM Aura? Alam mo ba yan? Sa tagig, ano yan? It's market, market. Hindi po siya market, market. Market, market! Bakit siya may exclam... Shucks. Alam mo yung kayang-kaya ko to. Pupush ko to. So sabi niya, give me some of that red soup. All right, Jacob replied. Very. All right. Jacob replied. But trade me your rights as firstborn, as the firstborn son. Hindi ko na-imagine, baka ganun yung boses niya, ha? Alright. Tapos ang sagot ni Iso, Look! I'm, st- I'm dying of starvation, said Iso. What good is my birthright to me now? But Jacob said, You must first. Swear your birthright is mine. Napaka suwabe. May kilala kayong suwabe? 
So Esau swore an oath, thereby selling all his rights as the firstborn to his brother Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and lentils too. Esau ate the meal. Then he got up and left. He showed contempt of his rights as firstborn. And I, I would love to stay here because some of us, we often exchange God's blessing for a quick fix. Hello? Kaya two, le- two lessons from Esau lang. Number one is this. Never give up. Pakisabi sa katabi, never give up. The blessing you need most for the bowl you want. Yan po ang aking anak. <laughs> Sige lang. Sige lang, takbo lang kayo. Playground ito eh. <laughs> Di ba? Lesson number one, never give up a blessing you need most for the blessing you want now. Please. Please. Again, may and dami daming kwento dito. If I'm talking to the youth right now, I have a very important message to all the youth that are listening online as well. Never give up something as important as your purity. As important as your purity. Kasi type mo lang siya. Brad, sabaw lang yan. You'll never be satisfied with sabaw. And I would talk to a married person. Talagang ako, four years pa lang po kami married. And I, I pray every day for, for the faithfulness I have with my wife. And, and every time if I'm tempted, even in you know, looking at stuff in Instagram, that's why the very first thing that I did after, nung nagkinasal kami is to unfollow a lot of people. Ang dami ko palang sinunda na walang suot. Yung parang ganun. Sabi ko, Lord, grabe, ang dami ito yung follow ha. Kasi parang, di ba, hindi siya bagay for me. Kasi parang dapat yung isip at puso at everything that I have is only for her. But those things, sabi ko, Lord, grabe. Bas may TikTok pa. Maganda naman yung TikTok. Pero minsan na, uy, okay to ah. <laughs> di ba, mapapagano ka. Hindi, hindi, hindi nga pa pwede pala. Sabaw lang yan. Lesson number two, never become too hungry. You become weak to temptation. May kilala kayong parating gutom. Ba't nakatingin kayo lahat sa akin? Busog ako parate. Ano, pa- paano mo malalaman ng isang emotionally hungry na, uh, hungry na person? Ito yung emotionally hungry na person kasi I've been again ministering single people at the feast. Yung tipong kakabreak lang, Pag nag-break, pag emotionally hungry ka, pag nag-break yun talaga sa <laughs> brother John, ang sakit-sakit talaga, brother John. Pag pipray ko yan. Ang problema ko ito, yung um, sakit-sakit, talagang pinag-pray mo, talaga, ayoko na, brother John, ayoko na. Tapos mamaya, next week, may jowa na ulit. <laughs> Tapos tatanungin ko yan. As hindi ako makapigil, pinag-pray, piniyakan natin yan last week, tas mamaya, may jowa ka na. Tatanungin ko, bakit ka may jowa? Eh, brother John. Eh, kasi ano eh. Sabi niya sa akin, I love you. Sabi ko, te, ang rupok mo. May kilala kayo marupok? Di ba? Ang dami marupok. In I love you lang, tayo na. Wow! Di ba, kinilig? Emotionally hungry yan. Spiritually hungry, iba rin naman pag nagkakaroon ng problema sa family or sa issue sa buhay, bumibigay. Ayaw na. Though how do we satisfy this hunger? Is we attend the Holy Mass every week. Pakisabi sa katabi, see you every week. Amen? Kaya, please, attend every week. And I'm gonna end here because you're already blessed. Pakisabi sa katabi, you're already blessed. And I just want to say that over and over again. Sige. I started with hashtag blessed. Can we post this? Yeah, hashtag blessed. Yeah, mismo yan. Sige, Jack, kailangan na yung tulong ko dito. Tumakbo ka. Bilisan mo. Then, 
Jay Lubaton. Hashtag blessed. 144 million posts. Marami po yan. So, I was just curious last night. If this is how many are blessed, ginugil ko lang din. Pag Google ko, sabi ko sa Google, uh, the depression rates worldwide. Yun lang. You can Google it right now if you want. Just depression rates worldwide. And then I come upon this, this website, WHO. Mukhang legit naman to. Depression, sabi niya, overview. Depression is a common illness worldwide. But sige, next slide na lang yung may box. Sabi dito, that over 700,000 people die due to suicide every year. Suicide is the fourth leading cause of death. And look at their age range. 15 to 29 years old. If people are hashtag blessed, why are there so many depressed people? Again, I just want to qualify muna. There are times that are, you're clinically depressed and uh, clinically uh, diagnosed na may anxiety ka. I hope that you go to a doctor. Please go to a doctor. It's okay not to be okay. But for most of us, na hindi naman clinically diagnosed, I have a suggestion. But they both suggest. How do we break this pattern of negative thoughts after negative thoughts after negative thoughts? There's only one word that I can have in my head. It's gratitude. It's really gratitude. Gratitude talaga. Wala ako ibang maisip. Wala ako, in, even in my prayer time. For example, if, if my wife is mad, talagang galit lang siya, di ba? Kaso lang sabi ko sa inyo, pag minsan gusto mo siyang maging masaya, galit lang siya. And I would just look at her sometimes and sabi ko, Lord, thank you. Kasi siya yung asawa ko. Naks. Tapos, y- you know why, why I'm grateful that she's my wife? Because, I just read this somewhere that there's always this one person that you that will always have your heart. You never see it coming because you're blinded from the start. Know that you're the one for me. It's clear for everyone to see. My baby, you will always be my now, I read it in the book of Usher, by the way, so. <laughs> Can we all stand? How do we break? <laughs> How do we break this cycle of not being happy? Number one is this. Remember His goodness. Pakisabi sa katabi, remember His goodness. You know how I remember His goodness for the past two years? It has been challenging, yes? The past two years, yes? It's been challenging. Talagang people died and uh, business has gone. Feast now starting to... Talagang nawala lahat. So if it was challenging, you know what, what I did one, one day? Talagang sabi ko, challenging ba in the past two years? I looked at my phone. I went to I went to photos. Pagpunta kong photos, and I browsed two years ago. Talaga 2020. Alam niyo nakita ako? Ito, no, first picture. Since it was not allowed face to face, my brother and I in our very small room started to do videos. Wala lang. Because the mission is to get the word out. Hindi lang yun. Next, next picture, we help different parishes in Makati set up their live stream. Hindi, hindi yung kami lang marunong ni Adrian mag-livestream. Tumu- nagtumulong po kami ng mga simbahan. Kung paano, eh, ganito po kailangan, Father. Ha? Ito po, ganyan. So, ito po yung kailangan yung bilhin. Sponsor na po ng feast yan. So, hanggang ganun. Talagang, eh, talagang si Lord pa eh. 
Tapos ito pa, next slide. Oh, di ba? Natutoy asawa ko magupit. Oh, tapos sino pang ginupitan niya? Next slide. Oh, di ba? Si Mateo din. Ang galing. Kaya wala kami picture after nung gupit. Kasi... <laughs> Lagot po ako nito pag uwi ko mamaya. Then, this little boy came into our life. Then, he became the additional bundle of joy, you know, in, in the family. Napaka, the past two years, napag-graduate na po kami ng grade 6. Past two years, Fiscon pa rin, di ba? Kami ni Velden, tsaka ni Maan. Past two years, na-engage yung kapatid ko. Kita mo yan. At nung nagbukas ng Bellevue, syempre, ang buong Silan family, next slide, nasa Bellevue, o di ba? I have an activity for you later. Pag uwi mo, can you go to your photos? Browse it. Two years. And each and every picture that you will see, whisper a prayer. And that's not a difficult prayer. Whisper a prayer. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. blessed. Second is this. Receive His grace. Receive His grace every day. Alam niyo, mahirap yung ganyan. Ito, talagang Lord, saan kukunin ang, ang pera? Tanong ko po yan parati, saan kukunin itong budget dito? Binibigay naman ni Lord. It's, it's hard to earn money right now. Ang hirap, di ba? Pero lalaban ka. Ang diesel is expensive, di ba? Inflation is real. Numbers don't lie. History is not chismis. Yung ganun. Be grateful. Be grateful. Alam niyo, yung Javi is now in kinder. Tingnan niyo yung picture niya. Again, in a very small room in our house. Tapos, proud na proud siya sa ginawa niyang. Next slide. Hulaan niyo, ano kaya yan? Ano, lipstick? Ano? <laughs> ano po yan? Bus, okay? Basta bus po yan. Ha? Pag tinanong kayo ni Javi, that's a bus. And last is to respond with love. If your mind is consumed with negative thoughts, it's almost impossible to have a positive life. Whisper prayer right now, please. Can you tell yourself that you are blessed?